Results for the 2023 Karnataka Assembly elections are out and while it's celebration time for the Congress, the BJP leadership in the state might want to go back into a huddle and analyse the numbers. For now, six factors seem to have impacted the Saffron Party's dismal performance in its southern stronghold. To begin with, B.S. Yadurappa, former chief minister and one of the tallest leaders in Karnataka, was visibly sidelined by the party during the entire election campaign. The four-time CM is a mass leader who enjoys a huge support from the influential Lingayat community as well as a section of OBCs in the state. He had a strong control over administration, which is in strong contrast to Basavraj Bomai, who was often accused of not being in control. While the Congress tailored its campaign around local civic issues and cornered the incumbent government over poor implementation of welfare schemes, the BJP's campaign was largely reactive. Be it Prime Minister Narendra Modi targeting Congress President Malikarjun Kharge over the latter's poisonous snake remark or the BJP going hammer and tongs against the Congress over the party's manifesto promising a ban on Bajrangdal. The Saffron Party hardly ever looked like they were setting the agenda this election. The Congress party ran a targeted campaign levelling corruption charges against Bomai and the BJP leadership in Karnataka. Drives such as Pay CM and 40% Sarkara seem to have hit a chord with the voters. The BJP was clearly unable to successfully counter these allegations. Dealing with strong anti-incumbency, BJP's defeat suggests that voters were disenchanted with the Saffron party over its poor implementation of welfare schemes. Even as the party in its election manifesto promised several welfare schemes such as free cooking gas cylinders, financial incentives for those who are preparing for competitive exams like UPSC, ground reports across board suggested that a last mile reach of similar schemes remained poor during the party's tenure. The BJP's decision to bring in more castes into the ambit of caste-based reservation and raising the quotas for various castes also did not reap much dividend. The party announced an additional 2% reservation for Lingayats and Vokaligas in the state while scrapping quotas for Muslims. It increased the reservation for scheduled tribes from 3% to 7% and scheduled castes from 15% to 17%. It seems this brought in more confusion than clarity for voters in the state. BJP's campaign crafted on the back of issues such as the hijab ban, ban on halal meat and scrapping reservations for Muslims had limited appeal in the state. While the party was able to retain its stronghold of coastal Karnataka, which is often referred to as the Hindutva lab of the state, similar trends were not observed in other regions such as Hyderabad Karnataka, Maharashtra Karnataka and Old Mysuru.